Lee Price took over the Venom symbiote after Flash Thompson, but it's not a good situation. Now we're going to see if Eddie Brock can take it back. This is a short story because it was supposed to go in the last Lee Price storyline, and I kind of messed up. So here is the resolution to Eddie Brock and Lee Price. In our last video we watched as the symbiote Venom wandered the streets in search of a new host after being separated from Flash Thompson. At that time, former Army Ranger Lee Price was involved in an arms deal gone wrong, and Venom sprung into action to save him. But with Lee's past, he was able to mentally dominate Venom, bending him to his murderous will. However, there is someone else looking to take that symbiote back. Eddie Brock. As Lee's rampage on New York continues, the FBI moves in with the only remaining man on the symbiote task force, Eddie Brock. As agents fly over New York, one informs Eddie of the current situation. Ten minutes ago, an incident occurred where a helicopter was attacked by a symbiote-enhanced subject. Eddie asks what's the status in the helicopter, and the agent tells him that they don't know. They lost eyes on it after the video feed was cut. But if that thing is still in control of their chopper, there's no telling what damage it could do. Over in the helicopter, Lee grabs the control, stating that he never thought he'd get to fly one of these again. Venom asks, did you used to fly one of these? And Lee says that he did in the Army Rangers, but not very well. Just then, a string of webs hits the back of the helicopter, and a second later, Spider-Man looks in asking, Is it you, Flash? Any chance I can hitch a ride? Lee pulls Venom back over him, and he tackles into Spider-Man, stating, We have a new plan. We'll kill Spider-Man! As Lee jumps out of the helicopter, it begins to explode, and Spider-Man shouts, Okay, definitely not Flash! Because he as Venom would never risk hurting innocent people. Spider-Man then quickly makes a web landing for the two of them, but Lee slams him down and into the ground. Overhead, Eddie's helicopter flies over and says, it's true, the symbiote is here, my symbiote. From the smoldering wreckage, Spider-Man gets out stating, score one for the good guys, right? And then there's a hiss from Lee, and when Spider-Man looks back, Lee punches him and launches him into a hot dog stand. Lee charges in to try and finish off Spider-Man, but up in the air, Eddie gives the order to open fire. With Eddie's helicopter and the ground soldiers moving and shooting at Lee, Venom shouts that they need to get away. Too many people are trying to kill us! With Lee busy, Spider-Man looks up to see Eddie walking towards them, and he says that he should have known. Eddie tells him, back off, I'm with the Bureau now. We have equipment inbound, and whoever is in that suit isn't making it easy for us. Eddie helps Spider-Man up and Spider-Man tells him, yeah, it's not Flash in there. We have to contain that thing fast. Eddie tells him that he's got an idea, but he's not gonna like it. Back with Lee, he rips through another group of soldiers when Spider-Man jumps in, kicking his head into the ground, telling him, hey, Chuckles. Lee gets back on his feet, telling him, I won't run away from the web slinger. We will kill him. But then a web shoots out, hitting Lee in the mouth. And Spider-Man tells him, would you just listen for a second? I didn't come here to fight. I came here for the suit. I want it back. Lee shouts, come here to get it. And then Venom begins to separate from Lee. Lee asks him, what do you think you're doing? And Venom says, Spider-Man is a hero. There's too much needless death here. As Lee tries to keep Venom on him, Venom bites his arm and tells him, No! You've kept me in the dark. There are some things that I've learned. On the outside, it's all cold and anger, but down here, it's warm with fire. In your fear! You tell them it's because they hurt you, but I know the truth. The truth about why you killed your parents. It's because Lee Price is a broken and a weak man. Lee falls to the ground trying to remain in control, and Spider-Man crouches down telling him, hopefully, there's something good about that. Behind him, Eddie laughs telling Spider-Man that he's given them their window. Let's be sure not to miss it. Inside of Lee's mind, his inner child says that he just doesn't want them to hurt him anymore. Please, leave him alone. Venom hesitates for a moment, wanting to help, but then Lee says, if you leave, I'll kill him. Venom says no. You'll never kill anyone again! He rips himself off of Lee and he begins to make his way towards Spider-Man and Spider-Man tells him, That's it! Just like old times! As Venom gets closer, Spider-Man shouts, No! And all of the soldiers hit it with the sonic blasters. Venom begins to yell, No! Please stop! Don't put me in there! Spider-Man grabs the canister and slams it down onto Venom, trapping him inside as Venom shouts, No! I hate you! Why do this? I hate you! As the officers move in, they arrest Lee, telling him that the best part about being the NYPD, arresting the big scary bad villains. Lee watches as Venom is taken away and the officer asks, Not so tough now, huh? Once the FBI has contained Venom and they prepare for transport, Eddie heads inside asking Gibbons what they plan on doing with the symbiote now. 
Gibbons tells him that they're going to be taking it off world to some satellite base, probably Alpha Flight or somebody like that. Eddie asks him, come on, let me have a look at it before you take it away. Gibbons asks if he wanted to see it so bad, why not be there for the takedown? And Eddie tells him because Spider-Man made him take cover. That and he didn't want to be there because Venom may not have trusted him. Gibbons says that nobody trusts him. He didn't think he cared so much. Just then, Eddie grabs Gibbons and chokes him out, telling him, you're right, and I don't care. A short while later, another agent comes in to check on Gibbons. And when he looks inside, he sees him webbed to a wall and the canister containing Venom broken. The agent reports that they have a situation here. Venom is loose and out on the city. Eddie is swinging through the streets in the Venom symbiote shouting, We're back! And there you have it. Eddie Brock now has the Venom symbiote back. For me, I still want Flash to have it, but we're getting to that. Don't worry. And if you want to know what's going to happen to Eddie Brock, subscribe to this channel to get more Venom, more Flash Thompson, and more of one of my favorite heroes over in Marvel, Venom. All right, don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel like I just said. Follow us on Twitter at ComicStorian. We're also over on Twitch at Eligible Monster. And the name's popping up on the screen now or right after I talk. Those are our Patreons. That is down below if you want to consider donating to us because we would appreciate it. Thank you and have a good night.